Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon and I'm here with Brett now and we're going to take a look at what could possibly be a quintessentially 80s toy because when I was in uh, junior school in the 80s my friend Mark had four of these. Now these are something fantastic. They're actually travel board games right? What do you think of it? Hmm. What's it look like? Looks like a tape. Cassette tape, yeah. So it's massively 80s because it's done like a cassette tape. Bright colours. But these were fantastic things and they always stuck in my mind. I hadn't seen one from when I left junior school right up to a few years back where it, they kept being on my mind all the time and I decided to buy one. But I wish I bought this one with something. Mm. The instructions. Because there are a number of different games done in this way. They're called flip siders. And there's a number of games done. Some are really, really easy to play and understand. Like a Formula 1 racing game. And some are a little bit more complicated. Like Scavenger Hunt and Chopper Chase. Now, if you were going to buy one. There's a few things that you need to make sure of. Which I'll tell you about that in a minute. But this is Chopper Chase. And what you do is you just shake it a little bit and the board comes out of the bottom and is made to look like a helicopter cockpit and you've got this little flap up here which has playing pieces and the best bet is if you want to roll your dice go on then roll your dice you pull the lever back a little Damn slide lever wrangle. let it go and it spins just like a cassette tape running through now should have probably took that about a minute ago. You think? You get four pieces. Now, Chopper Chase, the name of the game is your kind of cops and robbers. So one of you is the robber, and you are trying to get from doing your bank robbery all the way to the border, and then you get away. The helicopter, though, is trying to go from here, and he has to land on the bad guy's car, and then he catches him. But with the helicopter, what you've got to remember is, not only do you get to move around the board, you also have to do um, altitude. So you've got a number on the board here, and then you've got the corresponding uh, numbers on here. So this is your altitude. Mm -hmm. So you've got to remember all this. Now the thing is, I bought this ages ago, and I didn't pay a lot for it, because you can pay anywhere between 15 pounds for these, to around about some people are asking 40 pound for them sometimes and what you need to try and make sure is number one you need to try and make sure that the board isn't either jammed up inside of there because some people put them in wrong it's not broken in any way so these hinges aren't broken there's no hinge there get off these are the hinges oh the next thing is you need the playing pieces because Trying to replace these are a nightmare because they're a very specific shape and some need all the same colours, some need many different colours and some have multiple of the same colours. So you need all those and because of the more complicated games they're not exactly intuitive. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to look at this and go, oh I know exactly what to do. I rolled a die and then I know one's my this thing and one's that thing. You wouldn't know that. So. If you can get ones with the instructions, that's better for you. Because trying to find the instructions for these online is not that easy. So if you were going to get this in the 90s, what do you think? Mm. Do you like it? It's all right. Do you think, what do you think of the looks of it though? It's all right. Uh, what I'll do is I'll fold it up. It's really easy to put back together. The thing is though, if you look on eBay, nine times out of 10, you'll find them with no instructions and sometimes none of these playing pieces. So like I said, really shop around trying to get the playing pieces because they do get lost. And they just fold up like that, pushes in, and it's really easy. And then you've got a bit more detail for the cassette tape on the back. Do you know what, if I could get, um, I think Formula One, the Formula One racing one, mm -hmm. would you want to try and have a go at playing it? All right. Cool, eh? proper 80s toy this is and like I always remembered that from my friend having four of them he brought them into school and we played them 
He had, he, and it was all different colours. There was yellow, red, green, blue, all sorts. And look, so simple, such a brilliant idea. They're by M MB Games or Milton Bradley. I think they're fantastic things, but shop around for them. Try Which and get yourself a good one. To play. What, this game? Hmm. Well, here's the thing. I've never played this game. What are you doing now? I don't know the, entirely all the instructions. That's why I said, if you're going to get one, try and get the instructions. For the instructions you're imagining. <laughs> that would be right. If I can get find the instructions for this, we'll have a go on the channel, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So out of 10, what do you think of looks? Out of looks, I'd say about five. Five? Why five? That's not the most detailed. You book. I give it a 10 for looks. For ease of play, or for being a travel game, I give it a 10. But for ease of play, uh, this one's about... How would you even know that one? Well, I've tried looking it up, all right? So I give this one about an eight, because the other ones are so much easier that you don't need the instructions for, and you can just play it. But I like these. If you can find one, try and get them with all the bits. And you could normally get them for about fifteen pounds, but for some people ask forty, so that's a bit too much. So I like this, and I want to try and get some more. So and the instructions and the instructions. So for now, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more toys of the eighties, nineties, two thousands, or any other time we can get a toy from, but not then... three thousands. <laughs> I ain't got a time machine. Then please subscribe to the channel. It's a hundred percent free to do. But for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.